Rookie Nation, welcome back to another interview. Today's interview, we're with Too Fresh. How are you doing, Too Fresh? Doing good, how are you doing? Fine, thanks for asking. Thank you, Max. Do you go by Max in your um, interviews, or who do you go by? You call me Max. Max? Alright. Doing good, Max, how are you doing? Good, so, uh, now just note, guys, we have to make this interview short, because apparently, what happened? Busy. Yeah, busy <laughs> schedule, whatever. Alright, so what made you want to become a wrestler? Just watching all types of wrestling since I was little. Wrestling with my brothers and sisters, growing up, just being one of the, the runt, actually in the family so just being a runt and watching wrestling that was one of my main things why I wanted to be a wrestler all right do you still have any beef with TKO <laughs> I think that beef is going to be ever going until one of us actually gets on top and takes the other one out right now I don't know where TKO is don't know where he is but I'm waiting for you to come back so I can finish what we started where did you get the name Too Fresh? Too Fresh came, well, that's, that's an extensive uh, reason where it came from, but to shorten it up, there's a entertainer and his name is um, DJ Fresh, right? Uh -huh. I have a coworker named Dougie, and there's another entertainer named Dougie Fresh. So one day I was listening to some music and my coworker walks in, walks in um, to the job with me. So I said, hey, Dougie Fresh, what's going on? Right when I, as I said it, everything he was saying, I cut it. I was ignoring it because the whole name Fresh was ringing in my bell. I'm, I'm sorry, not my bell, my head. <laughs> but when that name Fresh just stuck with me, and I was like, okay, I want that name, and my name is Deidre, and everybody already calls me Deidre, right? Mm -hmm. So Deidre and Fresh, I put together, went out there and it got over. Now. I needed something that the fans can gravitate on. Yes, DJ Fresh is a, is a nice name. Obviously, it's getting around. But what's something that the fans can gravitate to? And not only that I'm fresh and they're all fresh, we're just too fresh. So I started chatting out too fresh. They chanted back to me. And that's where that all came about. Too fresh. Let me tell you, it matches you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And hey, as a fresh fanatic, it matches you too. <laughs> Thanks. When you're in the ring, what's going through your head? Oh, there's a lot of things going on through my head, man. It's just getting from point A to point B, also winning, getting over with the fans, not losing, but hey, <laughs> it's wrestling, it, it happens. But it's so many things go through my head, you know, protecting myself for one, protecting the person that I'm going up against, also kicking their butt at the same time. So <laughs> it's just it's a lot that goes through your mind, man. When you're in that ring, it's almost like it's just a switch hits and it's just like, go, let's get to that one, two, three, or that tap out, whatever it may be. Where were you when you heard Virgil from the third passed away? I was currently in training. I came here for training at East Bay Pro Wrestling Academy. And our head trainer, Anton Voorhees, which is, a, I guess, a good, real, I mean, a good friend with, uh, with um, Virgil, right? So he's the one who told us what happened. So when we all heard it, we all kind of like just band together and got through training because we know Virgil would want us to continue doing what we all love, just like he loved and put on awesome matches. So I was here at East Bay Pro Wrestling when I heard what happened. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, though, because I'm, I'm sure you guys were friends, right? Yeah, man. I, I mean, I can't really say we were friends, friends, because I only got to meet the character twice. But out of those two times, I learned a whole lot. He has so much knowledge in his mind, and he has so much, you know, things he can help you with to perfect and better yourself. So, and I wrestled him once. So just those little bit of instance kind of really just showed me that he was a real good character and they couldn't see how anybody could not like him as a character. And that's where I'm trying to per portray myself as, as a character where everybody appreciates, everybody likes, easy to come up to and easy to share with, go back and forth with him. So that's where I'm at with that. Would you rather fight Apollo Creed or Big E? Big E, of course. I, want, I would want to fight Big E because he brings so much to the ring. Dan aggression, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's like, it's a character that I would like to fight because we both have, we'll have fun. You know what I mean? I just have to watch out for that big ending, but <laughs> it'll be good. What do you eat before you compete? What do I eat before I compete? Yeah. <sighs> Potassium, for one, you know, nothing too heavy. You know, bananas, uh, maybe some jerky for the protein, water, I hydrate. You know, maybe a little bit of Gatorade, but it's not—it's nothing heavy. Because when you're about to go out there and perform, you don't want so much in your system. 
You know what I'm saying? You want yeah. you want to be able to give your body exactly what it needs to go out there and do its best. Then after that, then you can do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? We can go down to in and out and have a four by four burger or what not after. But <laughs> before, it has to be light and nutritious to your body. Do you have any advice for people who want to become a wrestler? <sighs> for anybody that wants to become a wrestler, you might have all kinds of stuff going through your head, but I'm gonna just say, do it. You won't know until you step into that ring and get under some some kind of training, some kind of um, knowledgeable person that would show you the rope from the ground up. But if you ever thought about doing wrestling, I would say do it. How many wrestlers have you fought? See, I've only been wrestling for about a year and a half, maybe getting close to two. So I don't have an exact number, but I've been going up on that scale, so it could be 20 plus by now. I don't have an exact number yet. When did you and Noah Watts start working together? You know what? I have somebody that can better answer that question. Hey, yo, Mr. Watts, can you come here? Hey, I got you, Dre. Mr. Watts What's himself. Up? Yeah. When did me and you first get together? It was probably uh, Arena Hayward. I would say I started recording your matches for you, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Yeah. I run your YouTube channel, I post, I take pictures for you all the dang time. All that stuff you see on all the media, that's it's all me. Yes. Um, it's all here this, this is all the fresh nature. Go ahead and shut yourself in. I mean, you can go and check me out. That's at that Watts brand, W-A-T-T-S-B-R-A-N-D, Watts brand USA, at the Kid Watts. You know what it is. Uh, yeah, doing graphics and having fun. And channel will be in the link in the description. It's only going to get up from Ooh. there. And also, another channel you should check out is the Too Fresh Network. The Too Fresh You can Network. check out all kinds of matches featuring DJ Fresh and Alpha Zo, the yeah. world's freshest tag team. Go ahead and check all of them out too because they're only going up from here, guys. All right. So, how, 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 about, how about fun? schedule looking? Oh, schedule going? looking? You know what? We're almost out of time. So we got a show tonight. I appreciate this course, interview. No Anything problem. else you want to close out with? Drop a fist and like a subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. See you guys next time. And that was just too fresh. fresh. <laughs>